Another beautiful day here at Bush Gardens. No wait for the temperature check. Hardly anybody in line. It is Friday and a lot of the local schools are currently out. So it may be a busy day today. Does not look like there's gonna be a long wait at security or check-in. So, we shall see. I was a little bit wrong earlier. Law security checkpoint was okay. Getting through checking in reservations took a little bit longer. It's a little crowded. And here's the Adventure Outpost, also known as Guest Services. This is where you can get your back. Today we should be taking a little bit of a tour through Bush Gardens. See all the goodies. Hopefully some hidden secrets that you may have never known about. You're at Bush Gardens? Yeah, you see the crowd coming in. Just got our rock heat. And we don't know which way we're heading. We're just gonna go somewhere. I guess my wife decided we're gonna take a left. So we can get a close up of our Wazi. Wonderful people taking pictures. Hey, you want to get a picture? She's like, no, I'm not. Come on, dear. Come on. Can we get uh, yep, Wazi as a background? Sure can. Uh, we just got our picture taken. Now, see if I can pull that up and throw that in here for you guys so you can see it. But we got Wazi in the background, I hope, with the, the Buccaneers flag. No. Go Bucks! Champions! Yeah, this is Champa Bay. Not Tampa Bay, Champa Bay. Because we are the town of champions. Yeah, as we're coming up close to Iron Glossy here. Hey, got a better view of everything now that the work walls are down. They cleaned up some of the uh, foliage here. Oh wow, looks like we can actually see part of the queue line. And as you can see, we're now using it as a flagpole and not a land ornament or lawn ornament, however you want to call it. It's going to open up soon, guys. I promise you, soon. Okay, even there, it says coming soon. Tallest hybrid coaster in North America. bits and pieces of it over the trees. Now I remember when this actually started saying coming spring of 2020 and spring of 2021. Now it just says coming soon.
and we're just walking through here some games and heading over to the Mardi Gras area now Mardi Gras is going to be finishing up on Fat Tuesday this coming Tuesday so if you're not here today or this weekend you're gonna miss out So you don't really want to miss out on Mardi Gras. There are some good eats and a parade and music and drinks. I remember back when this used to be the bird show area. Ah, yeah, look very carefully underneath that palm tree. You can see Falcon Fury. And a nice outer bank turn of Iron Gwazi. Another good look of the drop hill. I have to say, I've been here for Mardi Gras, and honestly, the chicken po' boys, they're good. They're real good. Uh, my son had the shrimp po' boy. He said that that was good. And you can get that right here. Booth number nine. They will open up at 12, so. Took a little stop. This is a Kookaburra Aviary. to the kookaburri aviary is where the kangaroos are hi try using your back Hey. 
There's one right there. That's mm -hmm. close. Okay. Oh, looks like we got some babies. Yeah. Hi there. Don't pull your arm away. Oh, I'm scared that it's gonna bite me. Well, then that's why you give him the cup. Hi. <laughs> He's more interested in that food. Yeah. I don't think that food is dirt. Here, let me see it. Hi there. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Oh. Don't let him eat at all. Aww. Hi there. You want to hold this? Let me see. Like, come on, dude. Aww. Yeah? You want some? Yummy? Yeah? Oh, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Hi. Hi there. I think so. That tastes good? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Get that ant off of me, please. Huh? Ant off of me. Thank you. That ain't now. That ain't. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like he's even eating the hay. Yeah. They're soft. Yeah, and you think they're gonna be rough and hairy. It's like, come on, dude. <laughs> I'm hungry here, too. <laughs> okay, there's nothing left. I ain't scared. What? Nothing. <laughs> Good There's another grief. piece in there. There's another piece in there. Got it? No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> you like the hay too? <laughs> Is that your teeth or your tongue? <laughs> Probably both. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, that's it. There's nothing left. There's just the hay. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> uh oh, my knees. Uh. Got it. Oh, aren't they cute? Look at that. Baby albino. It looks like a rat. <laughs> it does. From this part, it looks like a rat. She's the one that said it was a rat. I said it looks like a rat. Looks like a rat. I didn't say it was a rat. It's a big rat. If it's... <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, them roos ate up all that food, all that treat. <laughs> all the ducks laying down. And there's the two storms in the corner. 
let's see how our friend is doing over here, the emu. Uh, where is the emu? Uh, there he is. Oh, and we found another white one. Aww. Hello. Is the emu molting? We did lose some feathers, yes. Okay. Ooh, hi. You want a close up? You yeah, ready for your close up? Well, yeah, it's getting new feathers back. Oh, okay. You can see where they're growing back in. They're growing back like in. Black. Yeah, I was just hoping it was molting and not got into a fight or something. Like up against the fence. Oh. But they do molt and stuff like closer to his neck there. Okay. But it's all growing back in. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting new feathers. That's good. What's the emu's name? What's his e Oh, Lenny. Lenny. Mm -hmm. Hi, he's Lenny. Well, he's about 10 or 11 years old. Hmm. How long have you been here? I've only been here about a year now. So not as long as Lenny. <laughs> not as long as Lenny. <laughs> well, hi, Lenny. Good to see you're growing your feathers back. <laughs> Oh, it's good to know that uh, the keepers stay well informed about the animals here that they take care of. Uh, even if they've only been here for a year or less. So, um, which is great news. Great news. And we are now leaving. And there he is. And there is Lenny. Hi, Lenny. Oh, okay. Growl yourself. <laughs> so, Kangaloo and the Kookaburra Aviary. Avery? A Aviary. Yes. We got it. <laughs> and, can anybody walking this path can anybody know what's coming up next i'll give you about five seconds to take a guess four three two one if you guessed pink chickens you got it right Nothing but pink chickens galore. There's some more Mardi Gras up there.
Nice colors, too bad. She isn't a male, so she can flaunt her tail feathers. So. And they got some big ducks in there, too. Very big ducks. Pink chickens, pea hens, and big ducks. The Butterfly Gardens. And we're heading into Sesame Street area. Great area if you have kids. They have a whole bunch of goody kitty rides. Hello. Hello there. Yeah. Right across the street from Sesame Street. They have a whole bunch of birds on this way. <laughs> we got it from somewhere. That's a cool bird though. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like an emerald, an emerald chest looking. What? You see the gator in the water? No way. Nice. That's cool. <laughs> I, yeah, right? Yeah, it's going to eat you. Especially that little bird. <laughs> yep. What? And the other one is way back there. And of course, the two ants. That is so And away we go. A little Sesame Street place where you can buy Cookie Monster, Oscar the Grouch, Grover. Speaking of Grover, there is actually a roller coaster in Sesame Street. Uh, and it's a uh, uh, Grover something. I forget exactly what the name of it is. But yeah, it's a little kitty roller coaster and it's actually not that bad. It does basically, I think, a figure eight. Uh, no loops, no inversions. Just right for the kitties. Well, for their first roller coaster. Good view of Sheikra there, the hill. I've been meaning to ask AJ why he's been posting pictures at night. I think I might just have to ask him about that while we're here today, if he's working today. <laughs> Another cool place to check out is Lori Landing. Uh, that's if they're open. They may not be open. Not yet. While Lori's Landing is not opened at the moment, 
You can still see all the crazy birds from the outside while going around. Oh, look at the crane on top. <laughs> and you can see the lorikeets are doing their song and dance, enjoying life. This area is like one of the best areas. Mass relaxation zone used to be a smoking area, but now it's just a max relaxation zone. I'll be over here. And you have Shikra coming over the smokehouse. You got tigers in the background. Falcon Fury. More Shikra. Come. As you were saying? Uh, all right. I thought you were going to get wet. I know better. <laughs> so, we got the Stanleyville train station. The sheet to drop. Splash zone. Smoke out. I just back there. Wonderful area to take a little sit down break. There goes the floor, there goes the gate. Racers, start your engines, vroom, 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 vroom. Really? Fox yeah. radar. Yeah. Huh. 
I didn't know that. I didn't know it was that close. And there's Ray J over there. Yeah. I got hit in the eye with rain. <laughs> buddy AJ can't ask him the question but he's up there in the control booth so we'll have to see later on today if he comes out of the control booth or we can ask maybe Shen over here or somebody else see how it's going now this is one of our more of our favorite area, Stanleyville. Oh, Have the Stanleyville Falls plume. And like right there, Shikra. A gift shop. Got the Stanleyville St Theater, but there's no shows. Uh, today is a good day. Oh, look at that. Just caught it going up. Falcon Fury. Uh, today is a good day to get wet, I think. The last time I checked, it was about 77, and it's not even lunchtime yet. There they go. And down they go. So over here is Tigris. We're gonna just find out real quick. Um, oh, looks like it just changed to five minutes. So maybe they just opened it up. You never can tell. Yeah, five minutes. I guess we'll be guinea pigs. We'll be the test dummies. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. I was gonna say, we'll be the test dummies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, it's a ride off. Thank you. So yeah, there was hardly any time on there. Only five minutes. So we're going up with the scooter. Crazy looking ride, isn't it? Thank you. 
with small items, maybe some belt bag. Stanleyville and walking into Jangala. Now I did see them playing up here before. Could have sworn I saw one of them up there. Let's see. Like they're all up there on that one and across from the orangutans we have a ti tigers oh there he is way over there it looks like he's looking for food Now, over there is a tree top tree top trails and it is currently closed but that used to be the area where python was back in there And they also had up there on those poles a nice little flying ride up there. I forgot what it was called. But yep. Good old Python is now gone. Yeah. Uh, Bengo Bistro. They got good wraps and sandwiches there. Unfortunately, they are currently closed. So we have to find some other place to eat. Yeah, right by the tiger. You have tiger treasures. That noise you hear is a Kumba. It's a roaring roller coaster. And yeah, it roars. The Congo River Rapids currently is closed for annual maintenance. And, uh, well, should be coming out soon. 
Over there, we got the Tiger Trails. And the Ubanga Banga bumper cars. Along with some boats and some trucks. And as you can see, the colorfulness. We're working our way to Pantopia. And some nice little games here. They did have Baby Yoda there, but it doesn't look like no more Baby Yodas. They still haven't uh, closed that up yet, but that was the area for the Christmas Town lights. I do have a video of that. Check out the preview of Christmas Town 2020. Walking down into Pantopia, there's the train station that has not been opened for quite some time. Word has it that the roof there leaks and it's not really used, so they're not really going to fix it up. You can still hear the roar of the Kumba. Continuing to walk down into Pantopia. This is more of actually a carnival type of area. So, yeah. Has more of a gaming area and stuff like that. And they uh, even have a carousel. And yet the Pantopia Theater is currently closed due to the COVID. On the other side of the Pantopia Theater, we have Sand Serpent. Yeah, the wild mouse ride that makes you feel like you're gonna fly off the edge. Over here, the boat swing. The carousel, and back there behind the carousel, a whole bunch of uh, games. Yep, the big tall Falcon Fury. Yeah, Phoenix over there. Rumor has it, um, they do test runs on it every once in a great while in the morning. Uh, but um, yeah, they're planning on not opening it back up, possibly selling it and putting a, a flat ride in its place small little area but yeah can fit a, a flat ride maybe another kitty ride like the bush flyers and yes it's Friday but kids are out of school today yay yeah we're gonna hop in line I have to get a time. Yeah. <laughs> we came prepared.
up, up and away in my beautiful, my beautiful balloon. We're not in a balloon. Yeah, it'll feel like a balloon pretty soon. Yeah, okay. And there's Scorpion. An old ride. Very old ride. Tigress in the background, the log flume. And if you can look over there, you can see where they had that little sky ride thingy. All those poles up there in the air. And then good old Shukra. The smokehouse. And the ground! That one lazy. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was Falcon Fury that we just rode. We are leaving Pantopia. Dragonfire Grill over there. They got a mixture of good eats. Hamburgers, pizza, chicken. Um some Asian food. Yeah. So, all around good place to eat. If you have no clue what you want to eat, I'm sure you can find something there. And as we leave Pantopia, we're going to go see some smelly elephants. <laughs> As we walk around the animal care center, there's part of Cheetah Hunt. And I believe these are Nala's. Yeah, there's one right there. And there goes Cheetah Hunt. Uh, back there, yep, Rhino Rally was back there, and supposedly somewhere back in there, back in that area, they're going to be putting up a, a swing. And, yeah, can't beat that. And then we come over here to the Serengeti Outpost, where... You can get tours of the Serengeti Plain and animal encounters. We have done the tortoise insider tour and the animal ambassador insider tour. Highly recommend both of them. And then you also have the Serengeti Safari and they do have some other tours in there uh, to go see the sloth, the elephants, the penguins, hippos, and a rhino, a special VIP rhino safari. And a good view of cheetah hunt coming out right there. Actually, that's where it goes in. There's the tortoises. Can't tell from this side if that's... Um, there was Big Al, was it? No. Bubba and Big Jim. Yeah. Was it Big Jim? I think so. Bubba or Big Jim. Um, 
forget. I know definitely one of them is Bubba. But really can't tell which one that is. Not from this angle. <laughs> uh, Bubba is, uh, I think if you check out my tour um, video, Bubba is anywhere between like 80 to 100 years old. And he's planning on living quite a while more. So, as we pass the tortoises, we come up to Animal connect Connections. And this is where the Animal Ambassador Insider Tour and the Sloth Encounter is. They'll have some flamingos in there, some birds, some snakes. Oh my! Ow! Yeah, but I only see these two, or just one. Yeah, I just see the one also. Alrighty. And see if we can see if there's any animal trainers hanging out. All right, there's some um, American alligators. And in here. Where is the echidna? I don't see the echidna. The echidna is hiding. And sloths, of course, doing what sloths do best. Sleep. Being lazy and sleeping. Let's see if we can... Yeah, just sleeping. Ah, uh, and he's not very speedy. Sure, but he is a cutie. Well, you could be speedy for a sloth. Oh, for a sloth. Oh, sloth. oh, look at him over there by the door. Which is different than a <laughs> looking for food. Which is but it looks like a on the It looks like it. I don't know. Now here is where you can go ahead and feed the flamingos when they do the Animal Ambassador Insider Tour. But looks like they put the flamingos over here. <laughs> no. And here's the flamingos. No, it is not. <coughs> That's an interesting looking one way back there. Good question. Showing off, aren't we? Yeah, this is definitely because I don't see Mary in there. And there is Rainbow, the macaw. 
Hi, Rainbow. Hi, Rainbow. Rainbow. Hi. Hi, Rainbow. Hi. Yeah, in here there should be a couscous. And it looks like right up there in the corner. Out in that corner. And Sweet owl. there's the owl. And here's Zuri. Hi, Zuri. Hello. Hello, Zuri. Say hello, Zuri. Say hi, Zuri. Zuri. Hi, Zuri. Hi. Hi. Hello. Say hello, Zuri. Yeah, I know your name. I know your name. Zuri. Zuri. Uh-oh. Uh I guess Zuri didn't like me calling. Screaming hairy armadillos. They're hiding. And oh, there's the echidna. He's not there, yeah. I think that's Darwin. Darwin the echidna. Is there anybody in here? No, don't think so. And of course. Another sloth. Oh, now Zuri says hello. Hello, Zuri. And the lemur. Oh. Out foraging. I don't see it. Oh, that one I do see. Yeah. This one we see quite often. Eating. Don't think he's going to eat today. <laughs> he's probably had his full. Well, the lemurs are out foraging. Yeah. You hear Zuri saying hello now? No, that's somebody else. 
Oh well. That was somebody else that was saying hello. Hmm. Just a whole bunch of weird reptiles. <laughs> He's watching you. Yeah. Crocodile. Slender snouted crocodile. And he looks like he's sleeping. There's the train. More cheetah hunt. Come to the Moroccan Palace Theater. More cheetah hunt. As I said, crowds aren't too bad today. So. It's a good day at Bush Gardens. I'm gonna have to see the cheetahs. Kitty, 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 kitty. Continuing on the tour. Yeah, there's Cheetah Hunt. There's part of it. And good old Clydesdale Stables. We're here, and I'm pretty sure there was another one over here on this side.
And they had an area where the horses would trot in here too. <laughs> and we've got Cobra's Curse and Montu. The Serengeti Overlook. Also a good place to eat. And some more games. 65. Yep, 65 minutes. 65 minutes for Cobra's Curse. So we're gonna go ahead and get our times. That clickety click is Cobra's Curse. Here we got Montu. Hello. They put more plants over here, so it's harder to see the giraffes. <laughs> yeah, these plants weren't here a month ago. I sure hope you're enjoying this tour of Bush Gardens. This this route we don't normally take that often. Uh, it's kind of like a, a back route. If you go Cheetah Hunt, Cobra's Curse, then Montu, then you can take this path all the way over to. Well, Cheetah Hunt is that way, but if you go that way, it brings you to the uh, Nairobi train station up there. There's usually some lemurs. Loads and loads of fishies. Gator. 
So we just passed the hippos and a gator and up front here there's two ways we can go we can make a left to the Nairobi train station and animal connections or we can check out the hyenas over here uh, I think there's the hyenas over here Yep. The hyena is over here, and if we continue to the right. Whoa! Hyena! Hyena! Oh, look at this. So as I was saying, we did uh, ride Cobra's Curse, and I think the trick is to put one person up front in the right side, and one person in the back on the left-hand side. So, but we had a beautiful day here at Moose Garden. Hey, as we were leaving, we caught some cheetah, getting some training done. We're. Uh, going to make our way back to the entrance of the park. We're going to go take a walk through the Mayambi Reserve. The Mayambi Reserve. Gorillas, chimpanzees. Nice, enjoying, relaxing tropical breeze. Backside of the gators. If you're watching, Gert, I know this is one of your favorite places. There they are, way over there. So it looks like we're going to catch them at the next window. Yeah. 
so nice and tropical here. Just wait till we get to the waterfall. And look what Nisi over here. The only thing is, I think they like it here because it's nice and cool. for Valentine's. Doesn't look like anyone's out to play. Nope. Huh. They're hide. They hide pretty well. And we come out to see cheetah hunt. And that just about covers almost all of Bush Gardens. Now we just went through that Miami Reserve and I showed you the back side of these gators. Now we get to see them up front. 